A ship! I am saved! Weeks I've been stranded here. The Valian Trading Company... By whose standard do you call this settled? I only tarry here because my shipmates went to Pococohara to search for Luminous Adra. I worry that Ruano, the local chieftain, gave Captain Bezan... Or didn't know the way himself and was just trying to impress the outsider. Ugh, this is a terrible place. Why would I go bobbing for reason in shark-infested waters? You get a pass because I like that one. Ruano was the last to speak with the captain before she set sail. He squats in the hut northeast of that pitiful market. I would have joined her. But my stomach, <laughs> something did not agree. I'd say he's one clove short of a bulb. A cozy for my staring. <laughs> it is unusual to see one of the look. More unusual than a dwarf with no sense of direction. Bargroon. My grandparents gave up their nomadic ways when they... But I see the appeal of staying in one place, one safe... Agresima. Payment is assumed with the company. They are quick to buy. When we land, we feast, danced with the priest. He said we had come to rob and plunder. After that, we slept on... But in the early hours, no one from the village approached us all. And by the afternoon, now no one here will even talk. Our captain was eager to leave the priestess. She imagines me in the jaws of... She lurks in the shrine next to that off. The captain left all but the essentials with me. I have sustained my... Ecosi, but... I must watch the supplies at the trading post. You will. Yes? It is a bad omen to have a priestess so young. Age is no assurance of wisdom. You remember Anna? Still your tongue. Amira's winds will surely carry your words. Oh, filthy lizards. An outsider in Tiquara? A captain! If you had sailed down, I tell Ranga Ruano that the stench of Tikawara will drive away friend and outside the words of a skilled hunter. There is no food on this barren island that those monsters do not steal. 
Yeah, but how could you say no to those little faces? Always they circle our village looking for weaknesses. I push the cage with the young ones farther toward the beach, but I smell them even here. Better to keep them under our thumb than sharpening blow darts, I say. A week ago, I tracked the fish to Hoina Ravine, so I challenged the Mataru to a hunting competition. My mother's belt for the brood mother's head. It is not every day that newcomers land on our beaches. But understand, they are animals. You must rely on blades, I say. Hunting tales of our ancestors. No need to chase the children if you cut the head from the Ranga wanted a trading post. He said it will bring more valians like the sweaty dwarf. Always I stand here. This is no job. Someone must. What is there to hunt? Even the antelope know there. Even to build this, we must hike up the mountain for wood. Am I a kuaru? Go see the sweaty one. At last. No sign of my shipmates on the horizon. The village starves, and you hide, confess to bow. Or will you? Does mine look like a full belly, idiot? Disgrace. Any other repair who has won. Watcher! We can't just let this injustice stand. Y you do? I mean, of course. I say, this outsider speaks her mind like a Mataru. Another outsider. You visit Tikawara and hunt. What do you make of this hagfish, huh? Will Tamao confess if I tighten the ropes? Pakeho caught this wretch stealing the last of the Koiki fruit. The tribe was to feed. I stole no Koiki, but I wish I had. I would have hid it somewhere most unpleasant. <sighs> you hear this? The second chance we give, and Tamal throws it in our faces. Lied and stolen? When we have food, he takes more than he deserves. He steals baskets and pots, and even pilfered us. I say there is no person in Tikawara who he has not wronged in some way. Maybe no person in the dead for- I say I deserve what others have in plenty. Shade, a full belly, a moment to need. We stopped being a tribe when Ruanu dragged us into the path of the outsiders. You shame us, Tamau. To return in your next- We would have eaten the last of- Now this cannot happen. Our harvest fails because this one puts his empty stomach. This is not done. To consume the fruit, seeds, and all. This is how we pray to Kahopa for bounty. I say, missing food is not the problem. Tamau will betray. And he will surely wash back into our nets as a mudfish in the next life if he does not tell us. I might have an old primer on Rautai and naval punishments lying around. You could give those a try. You speak like an outlander, but your face is of the tribes. <sighs> Forget I said anything. Pikeho's word is enough to give Tamau over to the waves. I'm perfectly civilized. This is our way. Better to drown as an innocent man and starve with you. Justice does not fill our stomachs or our hearts. It brings the gods no closer to ending this famine. Akira, you would do this? I say, our Raga will dedicate the feast of the last Kawiki. Until the Kawiki is found, I will delight in prodding this. You are free to question him in your custom, I say. They must speak with Nairi also knows much. Nairi, she tends the shrine and I am a warrior. Like most, we have little reason to fight on Tikawara. But these are only small. But what did I say? Quit your chirp, full tides. Ikira. Tamau was creeping around the drying hut where we stored Kawiki for- I grabbed Tamau by the wrist and dragged him to Makumu. The snake brought this on himself, I say. Ikira, it is as I said. 
Tamau was stuffing his face, I say. And if... I know that Makumu wished to give the fruit to Wing... It is said the gods piss on the souls of liars before sending them back to Aora as Krill. Kahopa must have made Tamau from sand lice, because he gives nothing to the tribe, only takes. No! I provide for the tribe, not like that Ikira. I say Tamau is guilt he hates the tribe. Pity and charity fill his belly and shell pouch, and he has not strained a muscle to serve. Knowing this does not bring the Kowiki back to the drying hut. But it will help to heal the tribe. No. He wants the Koiki and the guilt. I cannot say if the true thief covered their tracks. So, but the drying hut? Ikira. Himwihi and the other Mataru found them when they explored the island. Said maybe we train them to build. And if the soil and sea are misers here, then we eat them. Well, Captain Stinkfeathers here has choked down his share of Lago Fath Egg. The high tide is stingy with fish. Step back, all of you. You've all got the wrong idea. I'm waiting for a shipment of sailcloth from the homeland. Is that going to be a... Then what say you about this? Coded gibberish, or I'm an Orlet. Damn it. He's about two seconds away from starting a brawl. I've got to step in. One against a mob isn't exactly even. Ever heard of a fair fight? Ha! Company warships blow our canoes to splinters, and you call us unfair? You f... As surely as sharks circle spilled blood, this one has been casting an unwelcome shadow on our village. We found coded documents in his quarters, and he defended himself with lies. Outsider spy. Setting aside our objections that you're reading other people's mail. Who are you to speak in his defense? And who is your traitor friend who postures like she is not one of us? I've got better things to do than listen to a bunch of islanders argue over who- A Hwana who speaks for agents of Rawatai is no friend of the tribes. She and her bird will share in his fate. We will show the trading co- I've got this, Captain. <laughs> Try to avoid making a spectacle of yourself, and some now here is a welcome sight. Is that little Ashiza? Hop over here, you old terror! Ishi town. You don't know where he's been. Captain, this is Harama. We were shipmates on the Flying Buttress. That's a word for it. You could also- Loyal servants of the homeland. That's enough out of you. Afraid this isn't a social visit. This comes from up high. Atsura's up to his tricks again, I see. Thank you, Maya. I've been waiting for this. Maya, why is he asking? Captain, later. I promise we can discuss it later. I guess we're done here. It's been... Especially seeing you coming and going again. I, uh... Say no more. Good luck in your travels and other adventures. Ashiza, you keep your feathers clean. Sure.
No trouble at all. What say? You are new to Tikkun? Only the Tamau was slept like a fat tortoise, while the rest of Ikira, no one could be less surprised. For what do you come to me then? Guilty or no? Being tossed to the waves, he complained until the Ranga gave him my finest mats, and then left him out for the sport of beasts. Let the gods sort him. I do not stop you. I weave bask in the afternoon. Of course, all that I earn goes Ikira. We trust in our Ranga to dispense. The Mataru get the best of all. And then the Quaru. The Raparu share what is left among themselves. Mukumu sees to it. The Tamau is made an example of what breaking prize share looks like. When I was little, me and my brothers used to spend hours chasing each other through the Merkberry fields. Don't think a day went by I didn't have a skinned knee or a bleeding elbow. Well, we did that sometimes. Only my brother usually... I admit it. I like... Get a room, you two. He older or younger than you? Either way, I bet he's just as strapping. Older? What? Was older. Then Sarah's invaded. Oh, I didn't... I mean, I... Of course, it's... Gone, but I'm so sorry. You probably have some questions about what we found Harama in quite a state, didn't we? It's no wonder you Harama is a sociable type of guy. Getting to know people, Atsura has set him loose so he can get to know as many people as possible. He's keeping an eye on Tikawara. Who comes and goes, Atsura is committed to a more peaceful dead fire. But he's just one man. He needs good people to shoulder the burden with him. Only Atsura knows for sure. Harama might not even have all the... I certainly don't. Eh, uh, maybe. Let's just say we're not the first people to deliver Harama a missive that... Truthfully? I don't know. They look like ordinary... Atsura has a new code for every hour. Don't be dense. They're smart enough to assume that Rawatai has spies. And if they're really smart, they're spying on us too. You have every reason to be suspicious. 
Hooey! About time we took a breather. My feet are... Tell me what's on your mind. My folks... You might say... But the war, it touched... The others toughened, turned survivors. Of course. Though we're few. My aunt's the one who taught me about the cycle of life. Whether forwards or backwards, that's how I first learned about the slice of gone within a... After that, I read the twelve books of Nearwith. Plus the... It's tradition for the youngest born to take... No need to fiddle foot around. They're there in my head when I sleep. And sometimes... I can taste them on the back of my tongue like... Yeah, it's best we go... Leave it to me. Sure. Why not? Hmm? Sure.
I shall. Good thinking. like some
Uh-huh. What did you find, Ishi? There's something I can do? Let's take a look. Got it. Well, maybe she's full. There's a pack of... Can't really blame him, can ya? I recall when you picked up ancient ink with him, but this? Hatchlings! Take! Take! Hatchling! Oh, Anna! got to do it. What did you find, Ishii? Leave it to me. Why not? Go. This is futile. Ah, move out. Knife between the eyes. Let's do this. Right between the eyes. Seek. That's not very helpful. See 
You need something? Are you crazy? Then Himwihi will go and blame. You see the woman at the trading post? She will have my corpse for bait if you do. She despises it. Besides, the Ranga will bury her at high tide if she so much as insults you. Or any foreigner. At least go and see her before you release her prizes. For what do you linger here? <laughs> but you do not laugh. Then you do not joke. For what would I do this foolish thing? Then I never forgive them. We must destroy the brood mother. For what do you say this again? They are animals. They if I release the young ones, then they attack. I well, hope they don't wake that long. I want to see them attack when they're little, with those tiny claws and fish teeth. Then raise your hand to the little ones and see how they fight back. When they ran from me before, I thought it was only my weapon they feared. But suppose you are right. Then I do not have to suffer their stench. Take the key then, and yell for help if anything goes wrong. Look out! They escape! <laughs> 